Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. What's up, Alex? Hello, everybody. All right. So here's the thing now. I do like seeing Hellboy movies. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of the original movies. Mm -hmm. Never read the comics. Uh, the dude who played uh, Vincent from... Re 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 Pro was it Re Real Perlman? Perlman? Right? Yeah, Ron, yeah, Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman. And um, Gilmero Del Toro, right? Mm -hmm. Directed it and wrote it, right? Yeah. So my issue is, I don't... For, for some reason, I don't understand why they pushed okay. it. Hey, Jay, how are you, Jay? All right, you. Good. I, I don't understand how they pushed it that I guess the creator did not want to have Ron Perlman return as Hellboy mm -hmm. and Gilmero del Toro. Now, here's the thing. Gilmero del Toro and Ron Perlman have been – they pulled, <laughs> like, Hellboy 2 out of thin air, like, getting it done. Yeah. They would have mm -hmm. got that done, too. Like, like they really were yeah. – you want somebody that works for you to be in your corner to push your product, to push your initiative. I, I can't think of anybody better than those two. Right. So my my thing is that you have people that are like the biggest supporter of the franchise. And then for some reason, you don't want that. So now I remember he came out and I think the movie company came out too. And they says they don't, they want to go in you know, creative differences, they want to go in a different direction than they were going in, Gilmer Natoro. And they wanted it to be what they were going to create now with David Harbour was they were going to create more horror and more dark. Now, pretty funny because the trailer we saw today was dark. No. And, ha and had humor in it. No, it was totally comedy. Like, yeah. effing the massive comedy. Like, yeah. I'm talking <laughs> dark, the majority dark of comedy. a little. No, but it was massively comedy. I'm talking yeah. like they upped it, like, beyond belief. Where it was sort of, like, more comedy than before. And so where is the horror movie? There's no yeah. horror movie. Is, I mean, is it just a horror movie? Because is it, I, I mean, it's horror movie? stuff in it, but it's... No, but they... The statement that they made was... They wanted to do less comedy. They wanted it to be like a scary, like a horror movie, but dark, little, little. That's not little comedy. That's a lot of comedy. Like yeah. that, the whole thing was comedy. So while, I, and again, I'm not, people got to miss, don't misunderstand. I love the trailer. I liked mm -hmm. it a lot. I thought it was good. I'm not saying I hate it. I just don't understand why. It's like the Predator guy. Remember the Predator guy, Shane Black? Yeah. Was talking smack how. He was going to get Arnold Schwarzenegger to be a big part of it. And then it was all bullshit because when they had lunch, they asked him to be in it for like 10 seconds. And he's like, screw that. Yeah. They lied. They back. lied. He lied. Schwarzenegger back. You don't he lied. He seconds. lied to everybody to get everybody on board to go see his movie. He lied. Okay. Yeah. They have no intentions of having Schwarzenegger in it. And, mm -hmm. and give him a look. They lied. Okay. And then all of a sudden, the movie became something completely different. Mm -hmm. Where the partner's fighting kids and comedians. And that's I'm like, wait. Why, that's probably why Schwarzenegger dropped out when he actually right. read the script. So and then all of a sudden they where, saw that he's doing. Put me? Right. And then all of a sudden they saw that he's doing Terminator and the stupid movie company's like, oh, people can't wait for him to be Terminator. We got to have him back for the sequel. But you know what? Never made a sequel because guess what? Predator freaking bombed. The new Predator. Mm -hmm. Bombed. Yeah. I didn't like the movie. <laughs> I didn't even see it, but it bombed. And the, my thing is that don't bullshit. I can't stand these people like directors or writers that they come out there and they're fucking talking shit and then the product becomes completely different oh, God, than yeah. what it is. Completely. Yeah. yeah, you show a trailer and then you go watch the movie and say, what the hell? What is that? So, again, I do, I do love Hellboy. Um, I do question why... You think it's wise to release Hellboy right after Captain Marvel, right before Avengers? That is a bad spot to put a movie. They want it to bomb. Do they? See, that's the thing. I don't think they do. I think they're just idiots. 
I honestly think uh, this, this sometimes I know I might be wrong. Sometimes I think they know. Uh, sometimes I think uh, movie makers know, well, we put out a good movie. It's not as it's not award winning. It's not very good. But that way, if it bombs or we can blame, oh, look, it came out between these two movies or it came out within this this uh, release date. And we didn't foresee it. So. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. This is, I, I don't agree with that. Well, I'll tell you why. They've been trying to get this movie done for fucking, what, 10 years? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So he finally gets the movie out. He decides to replace everybody. But we need to teach common sense in schools. Or we need to have lessons in common but sense. I do. I honestly think... People don't have common they, sense. They made a good movie, but they know they probably screwed up somewhere but so no i think they're just stupid in that sense i think that they have no idea marketing wise they have no idea when to release it and they think it's strong enough to go that first of all captain marvel when it comes out it will be number one for three weeks or four weeks hell yeah right or if shazam comes out whatever so you got shazam in there too right in the mix now and you got avengers so there's not going to be room for anybody to be number one no so if it bombs, they can blame these other And if you put out a movie out, you don't strive do for number two, ever. You always strive for number one. So you don't put a movie out hoping you get number two. You put a movie out to try to get number one. So mm-hmm. you should have put the movie out in a safe space where nothing Harley's coming out. Mm-hmm. This is a January release. This is an August release. Or when the, when the summer winds down, at least you got something good to see. Okay? An August release or a July release. Not yeah. April. Or whatever that's bad so that movie might get killed like in the box office whether it's a good movie or not it's all about placement yeah well judging by i'm um, looking at the film release dates at the moment you've got shazam dumbo yeah. Captain yes. Marvel. yes it's like what's happening with christmas this year you've got aquaman bumblebee mary poppins all squeezed into one Yes. Yes. Did you say Dumbo was coming out? Dumbo is on the release date schedule, yeah. Uh, Don't tell me that's a live action thing. It It is is a live action. action. Looks quite good. Everything is live action now. Everything is going to be live action. Things that you never thought is going to be live action is going (laughs) to be live action. Don't make that sucker fly. (laughs) You never saw the trailer? No. Oh, we gotta send, we gotta give you homework. We gotta yeah. send you stuff. I, I gonna, just went and saw uh, Hellboy uh, trailer. Yeah, we're gonna. We're uh, gonna have it, it's it's funny, way too much funny, and we hardly saying, any yeah. horror, like you said. Uh, I saw uh, two things that they were fighting demons or something, but it wasn't scary. Right, it's action more like more like yeah. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger fighting demons, which it wasn't. I would probably watch this one more than I would the original. Really? The original too? Wow. Yeah. So, uh, do you like the trailer, uh, Jay? Yeah. Okay. Alex? I find it it funny, but I think they're saving the best bits until closer to release. Right. Okay. I'm I'm a comedy buff, so I loved it. Right. What about you, Scott? I liked it. I'd say it was enjoyable. Okay. Um, we got some controversy going on um, because it's like a he said, she said, but not sort of a Netflix said, Disney said. Mm-hmm. Uh, all signs are pointing to Netflix killing the shows of Daredevil, just, you know, all these different things. Mm-hmm. And what? yeah. Daredevil is over canceled. Luke Cage is canceled. Iron Fist is canceled. So they're canceled. not going to make the third uh, season. They made the third season. They made the third season of Daredevil. They're not going to make a fourth season. Oh, great. And Jessica Jones is not canceled yet with The Punisher because they didn't come out yet, the new seasons. They're already paid for and done. So after they release that a month, then they're going to cancel it. So I guess Netflix is being, well, Disney pulled their, their movies from us and they want to do the streaming service. So if we put this out, we're promoting them. 
So screw them, Disney. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I think the reason why they're doing this is they're trying to recoup their money from Star Trek Discovery. Well, that's not even, no, that's Netflix. Netflix is not Star Trek Discovery. Star Trek Discovery. Yes, it is. No, Star Trek Discovery is CBS All Access. Mm -hmm. Netflix paid for Star mm -hmm. Trek Discovery they paid, to be they, they paid money for it. Yeah. But Hitler, it's yeah. not, they, they, and, paid, they paid money for it. But and their ratings for Star Trek Discovery was bad. Yeah, they, they, they scheduled for Netflix. They had to set so out. they're hurting. The and they're trying to recoup their money by getting rid of some uh, stuff. Well, Star Trek, correct me if I'm wrong, Star Trek Discovery is not on Netflix, is it? No. Yes. Well, it, it is on Netflix. On Netflix but it's not in, a Netflix-based uh, series. It is on Netflix in Europe. Oh, okay. oh, right. oh but and that's not. Canada. And yeah, Canada. That's not in America. But not in America. That's why they. And they got bad ratings. And that's the reason why when CBS Access came back to uh, Netflix and uh, begged no, no, them wait, for hold, more money. Wait, no, wait, let, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, when they came back and asked for more money to do these shorts, they said no. No, but the C I think you're confused because CBS all. No, 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 no. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't because I'm watching experts. Uh, right. that, that have been uh, following this Star Trek Discovery. No, but CBS All Access is, an, is their own streaming service like Netflix. I know that. I know that, Joe. But right, Netflix paid for no, it. No, that's, di that's different, though. They, uh, people do that all the time. Like They have LeBron and, James who wants to put and, money towards the Fire 13th movie. But, and they yeah. have it on Netflix in Europe and Canada. But not here, though. No. Mm -hmm. But that's the but what I'm trying. But yeah. what I'm trying to say is, they lost their shirt. I'm sure because of the bad ratings. Yes, but the thing is, it's main. It's ninety percent, ninety nine percent CBS <clears throat> all access because here is where it counts in America. That is where it's seen in America. That you cannot watch Discovery on Netflix, so it's not considered Netflix. Yes, you is can. A not in America, no, but, no, but in other places. No, I know that, but what I'm trying to say is that it's not considered. It's a CBS. Or it's their main, their yeah. first show ever. Yes, I know that. That's their main thing. Like their, yes, I know. It's, it's really not going to be their main thing soon, service. but it's a whole streaming service network. Like it's not like that. If Discovery was on Netflix, they wouldn't even need to have a CBS or a lot. And say. And see, Netflix had a contract with them to do two seasons. So they have to pay for this second season of Discovery yeah, Netflix. Uh, and it's killing them. Yeah, the second season. The, uh, it was on the that's season that's what I'm trying to get mad. And that's probably the reason why they're eliminating some uh, shows to... Um, Oh, what is the word, Scott? Um, they're getting they're getting rid of some shows to um, recoup their their money or something. However the, you call okay, it. so the thing is that Discovery announced we covered this a second season before the first season even aired because they don't yes, want it to be yes. considered. They had a, a contract failure. with CBS. Yes, they had a contract with CBS. Netflix is 100% uh, paying for Star Trek Discovery. Netflix is but not they paying. Not Netflix, yes. is not, Netflix is not paying 100% of Discovery. because You Netflix. need to go watch Trek Yards and listen to them because they have the information. They've been talking to the producers and uh, executives and the if, writers. Okay, listen to me. If Netflix was paying 100% of Discovery, Discovery would be on Netflix. 100%. It is. It's, it it's, is, but, but not, not in, in America. Maybe in Canada and Europe, sure, but not here in the States. No, not in the States, but everywhere around the world, it's on Netflix. Okay. All right. Um, what else do we have here? So, all right, so we got Will Smith. Did you guys see Will Smith in Aladdin? 
Yeah. Yeah, I saw the. Oh. Uh, now, what is what is that about? People. Oh my god. Is Don't tell real? me they're doing a live yeah, action Aladdin. Losing their shit, and the guy and the guy who makes it, they're saying, "I assure you, this is, he's going to be blue in the series." That is ridiculous. I mean, gonna, yeah, oh my god, he's going to be the genie. Don't understand is he? They Disney and then came out. Says, he's going to be blue in the movie. This is just that is. Ridiculous. It's not funny. I think someone's playing with that on. No, this is this they is should have found somebody, yeah, somebody else to play Robin Williams' me. part. It's wow, he doesn't look good at all. Yeah, mm -hmm. somebody's Photoshop of him because on the uh, entertainment uh, thing, he's his regular, regular self. And they said, and you've been talking about it on the uh, uh I, I saw on Philip DeFranco, says the makers of says he's gonna be blue in the movie. This is just a promotional uh shot. So don't have a conniption fit, folks. Mm. Um, what else? This is just a promotional shot. So. That is terrible. Terrible. Um, let's see. The Black Panther composer is going to compose the Mandalorian. Um, which is Star Wars' show on their their uh, streaming service, which is Disney. What is it? Disney Plus or what is it called, Scott? You remember? Mm -mm. The Disney streaming service is Mandalorian's a Star Wars thing, so they're going to pay for that. Um, okay, forget the name of their. I mean, he's going to compose for that, so that's fine. Yeah. Okay. What else do we have? Box office. Let's check it out. Into the Spider Verse is doing really well. Oh, I saw that yesterday, and oh, that was good. It was good, right? Yeah, it was good. Wow. I thought what I thought was funny is I there was like one or two people that left. I mean, of course, it was during the week, so the uh, seats were not full. The, the cinema was not full, but. Uh, about two or three people left during the uh, closing credits and thing. I felt like calling, nope, not going to. If they want to miss it, they can catch it on YouTube. But yeah. I saw the um, the trailer for that Spider-Verse. And when that that pig shook, you know, gave his paw to Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Spider-Pig. I'm, Pe I'm Peter Porker. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I never knew that was a Peter Parker. Lord. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if I watch that. Got, or not. Uh, Spider Man Noir, voiced by Nick Cage. A female Spider Woman. Now, I like Spider Woman, spider -woman you know, yeah, from spider the 80s. You remember the cartoon, uh, Scott? Yeah, I do. Now, that, that I liked. There was but, also Web Woman as well. Yeah, that was funny as hell. I stopped to see it. No, it's just the web woman thing was just funny as hell. But Spider Woman, yeah. I wonder if Shazam is gonna be any good. I think it's gonna be good. I don't know. I can't wait for it. Yeah. I so wonder if the next I one will be with Mary Batson and Freddie yeah. Freeman. To Jeff. Well, I don't know about. It's way too early to say if there's a second one because I don't know. It, it's coming out right after Captain Marvel, so it's yeah. kind of weird place in there. But DC's got to be brave, Marvel, I guess. DC, they want their Marvel DC battle right I, there. They want that competition. They want to see what's. I mean, we're going to yeah. have it eventually where DC movie's going to go up against Marvel movie. Hey, Gloria. <laughs> I said hello, <laughs> Gloria. You didn't even say anything to her. Hey, Gloria. Hi, Gloria. Uh, hey, you guys. I was, I'm just listening to your conversation. It's, it's <laughs> How are you, Gloria? I'm sorry. I was I'm, looking that's at the okay. I was, I was interested in what you guys were saying. I was just listening and absorbing what y'all were saying. We're waiting for the birthday boy to come in. Yeah. Chris. Chris's Chris. Chris's birthday is this. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we want to wish him a happy birthday. So just yeah, in case he comes in after midnight. Happy birthday, Chris! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> How yeah, will he be? Surprise him like a surprise party. He walks in, surprise! Yeah. 
<laughs> so that's that's well, he know he he he's gonna come to kiss. He says to get his phone, but yeah, mm -hmm. it's his day, man. Yeah. So now you sent me a picture of Batcher, right, um, Alex? Yeah, it's uh, what was uh, on Instagram. Someone done artwork of all different monsters for. Oh, but well, that's not necessarily he's in there though. Just no, to... it's just like a, it's just like a what if. Right. Yeah. Oh, for I Titans. Would, I would love to see other Toho monsters in the sequel. I'm up to date with all the Titans. It's 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 gotten good. Mm. Uh, just want to go back to Discovery for a second. I think it's great that D CBS is getting sued through the you know what. Yeah. For yeah. stealing that guy's idea. Yeah. Um, and you know what? Now they're going to, I'm telling you right now, we, we, I said this before even Discovery appeared. There's not going to be a season three. Like, period. Because that shit sucks. And. Thank you. But, you know. Basically, we got Picard I anyway. Said, so I, forget who said so. I forget who responded to it. Oh. If I had a choice between uh, Series 11 of Doctor Who and uh, uh, Star Trek Discovery, I'd watch Discovery over Series 11 of Doctor Jesus Who. Jesus Christ. Really? Well, that's that, you know what? That's, I'd watch uh, Doctor Who more than I would Discovery. Uh, you know what? It's always funny how Doctor Who goes right back into the – in every, every podcast we do, right? <laughs> Yeah, that that or Orville. Yes, the Orville. Or, I can't wait. Or, Orville weeks. starts in like one to two weeks. Two, yeah, yeah. Well, and we can have September thirtieth. Right? Yeah, can't wait for the Orville. And they had breaking news about <laughs> that today. Oh, yeah. Uh, what happened? Uh, some episodes. Uh, the the uh, the third op the second opening uh, episode is not going to be the opening. It's going to be something else. And it looks like they're going to draw out uh, the female security officer's departure a little bit. Draw it, uh, you know, linger oh, it leaving? a little bit. Yeah. She's leaving? The yeah. Someone, oh, else, yeah. someone else is, uh, is taking over for her. Yeah. Oh, I, I think she's supposed to be of the same race, isn't she? Oh, yeah. why? The actress is busy doing something else? Yeah, she's doing movies. Oh, okay. There oh, wow. was a rumor that, that it was... Uh, her relationship with Seth MacFarlane uh, that went south and they didn't want to work together anymore. Really? But that's, that, that was wrong. That yeah. was wrong. Oh. That rumor was wrong. The, what it was was she had an opportunity to do about two or three movies. <clears throat> excuse me. And she took it. She talked to okay. Seth. Seth said, that's fine. And yeah, I mean, look, we had situations where Dr. Pulaski replaced... Dr. Beverly Crusher. And I love her. her. And then Dr. Beverly Crusher came back. Yeah. So, I mean, there was, a, there yeah, was yeah, instances that happened. There was nothing wrong with Pulaski. She was yeah. a female she was a bones. She was a good doctor. I liked her. And I she, loved her. she's linked to the original series anyway. Yeah. The actress, so. They I hated it. Funny. And they said that she was uh, a... Uh, um, <laughs> Bless you. She was a racist. What? Yeah. Her character was the racist uh, uh, to date and everything. That's not true. It was doing a uh, a second, uh, you know, a reboot of McCoy and Spock's uh, relationship, hating right. on each other. Right. What I think is funny is the fact that there was an episode with her and uh, <clears throat> Riker, which uh, had to do with their their DNA being stolen so they could so that race could make clones. Yeah. Uh, that episode gave me an idea for an alien race. It was mm -hmm. one of my little uh, typing things. Mm -hmm. Gloria, what's up with you? How you doing? I'm happy, good. <laughs> happy Christmas season there. <laughs> oh, thank you for the card. You're welcome. <laughs> I got your card and I got Sally's card in the mail. Thank you very much, guys. You guys You're are welcome. awesome. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. You too. <laughs> well, if I knew your address, I would have sent you one. So. Ah, <laughs> too late. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I, I'll give you a funny one. Oh. Well, I, it's, very expensive. Funny one. Listen, it's very expensive. Listen, it's very expensive to ship stuff overseas because that time I had to send Sammy one of my books. 
it cost me like almost a hundred dollars just to send the damn book. Oh. So when David asked me to send the book, I'm like, ah, do I pay my electric bill? Do I send you a book? <laughs> <laughs> a Not quite yet, David, but yeah. On Amazon, I am tempted to purchase it. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I think it's in the Amazon UK, right? Yeah. I'm tempted to purchase it. I'm just waiting to get some money behind me first. No, I know. But listen, I, if I had the money, I, I'd be doing the new book right now. But I, it's not in the cards. There's other stuff that has to come. So uh, you'll just get two books in the next year. That's all. But anyway. Okay. Um, uh, a lady gave me a Christmas card today, and I ooh. came upstairs to get her uh, one, and I didn't have any, and oh. I just gave her a Christmas ornament. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, you just took it off the tree. Hey, yeah. here you go. No, I don't have a tree up, but I got ornaments somewhere. I, uh, I, I'm not. He's I'm not. Just broken, uh, we didn't get the. We didn't get the. Yeah, poor K9. <laughs> we, we, um, we didn't get the tree up either. I know it's late too. It's late. Oh my god, it's going to be the 20th. Wow. Uh, yo, I'm going to ask, are we doing a cast on Christmas Eve at all? Um, you, here's the thing. Usually, I never do cast on Christmas Eve, usually, because I usually go to my family Christmas party, which is Christmas Eve, and yeah. I get home very, very late, and I mean, sometimes if I'm home, I might, but I kind of like would like to like not do cast on Christmas, because it's no, like just, a nice breather. I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm just asking you because I'm off to see Bumble Day that evening. Yeah, we're all, I mean, look, here's the thing, it's Christmas. I mean, as much as I love to kiss, I definitely would not like to do oh, kiss on Christmas. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just asking, because the thing is, I'm watching Bumble Bay at yeah. 10 o'clock on yeah. GMT. Odds are they're not going to be cast for two days, or even, yeah. I don't even think even. That's a big knack at the time I get there's one, there's, If there's one time you ever talk, take off, it's Christmas. So that's my favorite, yeah. you know, thing. So don't get alarmed if anybody doesn't see no videos for two days. Yeah. I mean, yesterday, yeah. I was so friggin' tired that I just, I went to bed at 10.30, which is crazy. I woke up at 1.30, trying to go back to sleep, excuse me, and I couldn't. I was surfing, and then I decided, let me play Dark Souls, the PlayStation 4 game. And there's a, Then I went to bed at 9.30 this morning and woke up like 1.30. And then I ran, then they called me into work earlier. And then I had to go to another location. So I ran around. Um, so it was a crazy day for me today. But uh, usually I do cast till like two in the morning or two yeah. thirty, right, Scott? Or some yeah. other occasions, three, and then I go to bed. But um, I was just, I went to bed. Man, I was just so freaking tired yesterday, man. I was done. So I need to recharge a little bit. But that's that. And then well, we did. Congratulations on your two books. Oh yeah, the, um, we got a new uh, Hallmark is uh, one store is carrying now two books because I yes. made a successful book signing with them, so now I got promoted to two books. So speaking of Hallmark, when I was up at the farm, uh, I had to stop off there because I could for whatever reason I couldn't get off. Every time I wanted to check the Hallmark online site in order to get my get one of my relatives or family members, I should say. A gift card it kept taking me to the whole you want to reload no I don't want to reload so right. while I was up at the farm I should have filmed there I didn't even think about it at the time but uh, yeah I had to stop at Ron's and get a burger there and everybody was cursing me because <laughs> that's one of the good places up here in uh, Tulsa to get burgers and if you want I mean if you want greasy hamburgers and fries that's the place. I even had a Godzilla mug ready for Chris when he came. Oh, in. nice! You know, like happy birthday, bro! Woo! Nice. He was going to uh, basically uh, Godzilla was going to light the candles. Yeah, right. Uh, it's nice. I hope he had a great birthday today too. Yeah, happy birthday, Chris! If you happy birthday, happy Chris. birthday, Chris. Yeah, man. So, so Gloria, you have anything else to say? Well, we've. Uh, Wait for Chris. I'm, I'm hoping he comes in before we uh, before we close out this one. Anyway, we're gonna do another one, but um, don't be shy, Gloria. We did a kiss <laughs> earlier today. Like I said, I'm, I'm just enjoying listening to y'all guys. 
to talk and stuff. So it's like, I'm a little bit kind of quiet, subdued today. It's like, I don't, you know, it's just the mood I'm in today. <laughs> so that's why I'm quiet right now. This, um, I need to get a flash mug because I got the Ooh, arrow yes. mug. Yeah, well, I showed this before. Um, I got that in Spencer's. That is cool. Spencer's. Um, uh, I'll save that for the Rebel Beans cast. And yes, the Rebel Beans cast is not going anywhere. So there you go. It's here to stay. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Got, it. got two yays. What's that? Speaking. 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 Of error. Oh, Hold on. I can't hear Alex. What, Alex? Yeah, I was watching the two doctors not long ago. Yes. There, there was one person that decided that the Real Hogan's cast would continue, and Peter Davison. There you go. All right. Peter, I was watching Earthshock. I don't know why he just maybe decided to keep it going, but you know what? I was like, I love Doctor Who, man, even though there's stuff going on now that I don't like, but you know what? And we're going to still continue, so there you go. Um, cool. Have you seen the picture of Peter Davison and David Tennant trying to change a light Yes, that was fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, what just happened? Yeah. Oh, somebody's trying to come in. Let's see. Chris, come in, Chris. Oh, my Facebook is acting up. Wonderful. Somebody sometimes trying to hack you. I know I tell no, sometimes, you. No, sometimes people can't get in. Really Facebook about this girl who does uh, cakes who, who's in New York, so. Cakes? Yeah, she did her. What's up, Connor? Yeah, it, her Facebook oh, page is called Shut Your Cake Hole. And Who she said does, that to me that time? Yeah. I mean, she does some awesome looking cakes. So. Okay. Uh, have, uh, it's Chris's birthday. Uh, this, hey, Philip. Okay. We're waiting for Chris to come in, and the cast is about to end. Happy it's birthday, not- Chris. Is this an everything show? This is an everything show. An Wishing everything Chris show. happy birthday and talking about Hellboy and yeah, I've got oh, I've got a good bit of news that I'm very excited about. Go ahead. That. Um, there is a Netflix show called The Crown. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which I'm sure everyone's heard of. Yes. Yes. Um, they've just added Charles Dance. What? Holy no! Wow. Wow. I've met him. Wow. God damn. You met him? <laughs> yeah, I met him. I delivered to his address ages ago. Ha! So, oh, wow. So it's Olivia Coleman, uh, Helena Bonham Carter, um, and Charles Dance. Wow. How sweet it is. Wow. Charles Dance is awesome. And he's playing Lord Mountbatten. Yeah, Louis Mountbatten. You know, Charles Dance would make a good uh, Peter Cushing version of uh, Doctor Who if they ever did. He would do a nice Dracula. Yeah. They could have got him for Dracula. That would have been nice. Do we know who he's playing yet? Who Dracula is? No, no. Who is uh, Charles Dance playing in The Crown? Louis Mountbatten. Uh, Uh Prince Charles is... Is it Great Uncle, Philip? Something like that. It's something like that. Yeah. That's cool. Did everybody see Matt Smith's trailer? Yeah. <laughs> Did I like maple Did the shower afterwards? <laughs> Lord, hell I am not going to see it. <laughs> Don't. I mean, I'll be here to tell the you right different now. different uses of um, time. Sonic <laughs> All right. After, after I saw that trailer, what I did was I took a brush, <laughs> I cut my head open, <laughs> And I um, scrubbed my brain. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so glad I've never even... Somebody yeah, give him five bucks, huh? Give Matt Smith some money. You disinherited all of us if you saw that. Oh wait, he don't need money. He's in Star Wars now. So I guess that brain. I guess that Maplethorpe really got him the Star Wars role. Oh. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm not a great... Everyone knows that I'm not a great fan of Matt Smith. Right. <laughs> What what's the insistent sort of thing he's got with choosing absolute crap? Because he's in. trying to he's trying to fit in in all the cracks. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, come on, come on, man! You gotta use it. Come on, that was hysterical. 
I worked on that all day. No, come you're, on. You're I'm hanging supposed... around me too much. Jesus. <laughs> what, I just what's 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 off on Joe. What was that movie with the with the name Gray in it? Why does he look like Charles Manson and Skynet and the Doctor at the same time? What <laughs> he's doing there? <laughs> that accent is so bad. Oh God, Scott! He's what like are you that. doing, Matt? He's, he's so a he's got curly to get hair. an Academy Award. Is what he's saying. AMC Gremlins is on. <laughs> Wait, speaking of Matt Smith. What what's what the what's going on with Jenna Coleman lately? What uh, do you mean? I mean, I, I is she single? Because like, uh, like yeah. what, what, what is she? What stuff she's wearing? Did she get a new designer? Or, like, is she going in a different direction? That's just not. Um, she hasn't really changed. She's still a bitch. No, I hey, I like Jenna Coleman. <laughs> no, she sort of did a jump like. Rose Tyler to Secret Diary of Call Girl. Like, almost like that. Because, like, she went to this award thing, and I'm like, hey, what? Oh, like, this, this, is show this like, little black what are you doing, The neckline is down. The, I, don't, I was, what is she wearing? I don't know. I was like, oh. I don't know. There's been a lot of weird. Um, right. Didn't she, wasn't she with royalty or with royalty? I guess. Well. She was with well, Richard Madden at first, who played Rob Stark in Game of Thrones. But, but wasn't she dating Royalty? And then think, yeah, she, she was dating, was it right. Harry? Yeah, right. it was Harry. It was Harry. Yeah, the, the, um, the um, prince with another mother, uh, with another right. mother, with the father. The bastard son. The, ba- the bastard Jesus. son, yeah. He's a bastard. I thought she was dating her co-star from the program Victoria. John Snow is in trying to train a drink. That's great. Right. Oh, this, I'm looking at this funny. dress now. That She's was a funny video. Oh, that got, was a funny video, yes. It's got basically that's, that is no Oswin or, or Oswald in those dresses. Because that's yeah. just Yeah. And I won't cry from seeing those dresses. All right. And not a Russian hall in sight. Oh my God! All right, so we uh, oh, Chris is not here for his birthday. That is went off with the scissors. Happy birthday, Chris! Happy birthday, Chris! Happy birthday, Chris! Godzilla for you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Chris! Happy birthday to you! Would you like to know a nice little bit of trivia about the Hellboy trailer? Uh, we got five seconds. Can we go into the next one and do it? The, I'll be really quick. The woman behind the counter in the headquarters. Is Gary Oldman's sister? Wow! That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That looks good, though. You you gonna go see that? I uh, yeah, I, I like David Harbour. So yeah, he's really Stranger Things amazing. Yes, he's definitely underutilized in different things. He should be in everything. Great actor. All right, we'll be back. Take care, bye for now.